Hello, Monday lovers. Welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be me attempting to do two pie cut drawings with four alcohol markers. The alcohol markers are these fresh markers I found at Five Below from Creative Gallery. And if you're interested in the markers, a link to the review will be in the cards in the description box below. And I am sure that you will be interested in these markers as they're only 83 cents a marker. So I highly recommend that you check that video out so you can figure out if these are the right markers for you. Moving on, let's talk about the first pie. So the first pie I drew was a pie that's kind of like a side view and it is and it has like kind of like holes on the top and if you are interested in drawing along with me then i'll link a reference photo in the description box below so these are probably pecan pies or chocolate pies but what's your favorite pie let me know in the description box below or what are you even doing for thanksgiving this year i mean thanksgiving this year is going to be so different right because you can't go to your family's house and have this big gathering with all these people in a COVID situation. So what are you guys planning to do? Are you going to do a Zoom meeting? Are you guys going to like send each other food? What are you guys planning on doing? And just let me know in the comments below. So I am pretty much drawing this with a pencil and then I use a Tambofu Nosuke hard tip brush pen to kind of outline it because I felt like it just added that little like extra artsy kind of feel to it, that like cozy kind of feel to it to have that like slightly varying line thickness, like it wasn't so much, but it was still there because I was using the hard tip and it still is kind of like, it's still a brush pen, but it's like super hard. So I really, really liked how that looked. Okay, so now to color in the pie. So I apologize for the watermark that says InShot on it. I do use InShot to edit my videos and no, I do not have the premium version of it. So there is a watermark on it and on this one for some reason it is in the middle of the video instead of like on the corner of the video. I'm not entirely sure why. So um, I am sorry for that. It's not on here for the entire video. But let's talk about coloring in the pie. So because I was limiting myself to two markers, two like shades of brown for the pie, I really had to make use of layering. So the first thing I did is I just kind of used this light color to kind of just cut, create a base layer with the brush tip. And then I started layering on a few times with the same color to kind of get like the shadow of it i'm not a very good at shading it's just not a strong suit of mine if you guys are good at shading please let me know how what you would do it how you know how, where to shade and how to shade honestly those tips would be super helpful for me um but in this picture i did shade and i'm actually kind of happy with the shading of this picture it ended up looking really nice um and I kind of used the same brown multiple times and it looked very abrupt right now, but it ends up looking pretty nice because I end up using the pen to kind of blend the layers together, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? And also the layers kind of end up blending into each other a lot better as the painting went forward. Um, and I also kind of used it to add layers on the, I think, crust on the side which made it look extra 3d and then i went back in with the darker brush and i colored in the little holes to kind of get that little like different it's like because it's supposed to be a different color it's supposed to be color the filling and like i said earlier this is either a chocolate or a pecan pie because they only had two markers so i really couldn't make it any other pie but I did use the darker marker to kind of add a shading in between the crust and the actual like pie itself to kind of make it feel like there's that shadow so that it's like the crust is kind of like coming out up a bit so it's like higher and that like I don't know to make it look more natural and I also used it to add some shading to the bottom of the um, crust itself as well to kind of add more depth to it. And then for the 
uh, what you call it, the tray itself or the pan itself. Um, I used a light gray to add the shading, a base layer, and then the same thing, I just kind of layered the pen again to kind of add those second layers of shading. And then I used the darker gray to kind of color in the lines, like the little indents on the pen, as well as add a shadow right beneath the pen itself and on the bottom and around the pen just to create that extra level of depth. I really didn't use it that much. Also for the base layer on my pan, I used the chisel tip because in my experience, the chisel tip comes off a lot lighter than the brush tip. So, and also it's a lot easier for larger areas, but for the blending and layering, I did use the, the, um, the brush tip as well. Um, I did use the chisel tip for layering a little bit, but not as much. So I did use both tips, but I prefer using the brush tip over the chisel tip, but the chisel tip does provide kind of like a lighter color in my opinion. So that was how I colored in the first pie. The last thing I did to kind of give it that finished look is cut out the pie. And this is the end result. So now on to the second pie I'm drawing. So this pie is kind of like a overhead view of the pie. So it is going to also have like a different kind of pattern on the top. Well, the first one was kind of one with little tiny holes on top. This is the one where you kind of have like weaved together like slices of dough on top. So you can still see the filling in the inside. So the first thing I did was I sketched this out and then I drew all the slices and then I erased the line to kind of give it that like weaved kind of look so that everything kind of looked more natural and like actually weaved. And then once again I used the Tombo Hodonosuke to kind of just outline everything. So for this pie, I used the brush tip to kind of color in the outside because it was kind of like less of a like simple shape. So it was nicer to have that brush tip to kind of get that like kind of inside of the lines. And then with using the um, chisel tip, I kind of just, you know, colored in the inside lines to get that like lighter color. For some of them I used the brush tip, but I was not happy with how dark that was. So I guess it kind of makes it more uneven because it kind of makes it look like some of them were cooked more. Than but I had the other colors, so I was like, why wouldn't I just use it and make the painting or drawing that much better? So there's that. And I really think that this was a fun exercise. I definitely enjoyed doing it. It like helped me kind of like come up with new ways to experiment with colors and just planning ahead. Cause you know, you had, like I had to like plan what colors would go where and just like expanding and like making it easier for me to like figure out what colors go together and how to layer and all these things that like, you know, I might not have done with like multiple colors, but it definitely helped. And I think that that's definitely a really good thing to do because then when you go into your bigger art projects or your more serious art projects with, you know, all of your colors, then you have practiced using a few of them and you have worked on several skills. Or if you are, an artist who does not have every color of the rainbow, every single hue, every single shade, all that fun stuff. If you don't have all of that, then you know you don't have as many colors out there and this video may help you come up with some ideas to how to shade with fewer colors, which is also good because I mean not everyone can buy a ton of different shades especially with alcohol markers because they're relatively expensive it's an expensive medium so yeah and i really enjoyed coloring this and another thing that i kind of experimented with was just blending colors like for the uh filling i didn't think that the filling was dark enough so i added dark gray and then brown on top to get a deeper brown so it looks more like chocolate 
or pecan or whatever you think this pie looks like to you. Let me know what you think this pie looks like in the comments below, but yeah, I think that this just looked like a normal chocolate or pecan pie. And so I kind of experimented with that as well, and I think that was a lot of fun. So, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. The last thing I have to do is kind of cut this out, and then I will be done with this final pie. I did add some final shading around the edges and on the like, curves of the edges to kind of make it seem more bumpy, and also to make the cr crust seem like it's above the actual pie itself. But that's pretty much all I did, and that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps me out. And subscribe because I make new videos on calligraphy, art, and stationery every Monday. And hit the bell so you get notified every time I do and you don't miss any videos. And comment down below on what you thought of this pie. If you are going to watch that review video, it's linked in the cards and description. And if you are interested in drawing a pie like this, let me know how yours turns out in the comments below, as well as just how you thought this pie went and how it looked, considering that I only used two pens. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, hit the bell, and remember to have a Happy Monday. Bye-bye.